Hi. Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Take 15, take 50, I don't know where I'm, where I'm at. $80 billion. Make a guess as to what the American taxpayers are paying yearly $80 billion that nobody tells you about. But they always try and get you to have your heart just bleeding for $80 billion. Bet you didn't know that you're paying. Take a wild guess. It's what you're paying $80 billion a year. Each and every year. And it gets, of course, is growing. Remember they said there were jobs that Americans would not do? Answer me this. Here's a question. Is there a job that paid $35 an hour full-time every week that you would not do, or if you're already making $35 an hour, that you think people who are unemployed would not work for $35 an hour or more. There's a lot of these jobs that people never mentioned how much they're, they're getting paid. What if I told you there are millions of jobs that pay $35 an hour or more that the people hiring for those jobs don't want you. Don't want you, never told you about it, don't want anything to do with you. Here's the even badder news. They've already replaced those jobs with millions of dollars in robotics. The industry, grocery warehousing. Some of you might even know that you're already, that you're working in that industry. American workers were stopped from having those jobs decades ago. And now, when the environment is pro-American worker, did you know that? Because of this president and his administration, and the tone that he's set for the nation, America is now pro-American worker. Gone are the days of, we don't need you, we're gonna, we're gonna take all the jobs overseas. But those, they're already repatriating jobs, millions of jobs in the United States. So this environment now is pro-American worker. Uh, why CNN doesn't tell you that, I don't know. I'm not gonna get into that. But in this environment of pro-American workers, they completely sidestepped it and have gone full robotics. Not the entire industry, but a lot of the industry. Robots, uh, from the time the truck rolls in and opens the door, its doors at the warehouse, not a single human being touches any of the product, not even to remove it off the truck. Not a single human touches a product all the way to the time that the truck comes back to pick up the stuff uh, uh, that is going to go out. So from the incoming time, roll up the, the guy who rolls up the, probably there's not even a guy who does that, maybe, maybe, maybe not, rolls up the gate, robots take over from then on. And, and they do everything. They take the pallets. They break down the pallets. They, indiv they individualize the boxes. They set up the boxes for uh, delivery. Then they set up pallets for the delivery. Then they take the pallets for delivery and put them on the truck, outgoing truck. Not a single human, nowhere in sight. You know who's there? The guy who turns on the light. That's about it. And they don't even need him. They just need the guy to lock up or maybe the security guard that's about it a huge warehouse and you know the guy who owns uh, these warehouses you, you have no idea uh, maybe you truckers know maybe you truckers who uh, watch me know the guy who owns the warehouses owns such a big huge conglomeration that he does warehousing for multiple whole industries the whole whole grocery stores grocery chains they're all done not just by him but he does a majority 
or he does a huge portion of the warehousing for multiple, multiple, multiple chains. Doesn't want to, he doesn't want American workers there. And he's robotized, he's roboticized, he's robot decision. <laughs> he's completely sidestepped American workers in this environment. I, I don't know why. I don't know. I just saw, have you seen these videos about amazing workers, amazing workers, and they're sitting there going like this? I can't, I can't do it. Wait a minute. I, I should be able to do it. How, why can't I do it? Oh, it was like this. Hey, I, I knew I could do it. Anyway, faster than a robot without, uh, without the mistakes robots make. Because a robot, uh, robotics, robotics is not as advanced as they want to pretend it is. They make a lot of mistakes. They're not very accurate. Human beings, an accurate human being is more accurate than a robot. And faster. And can make a distinction between flathead Phillips, huh? That's a human being. A human being is still superior. No, they don't want a human being because they don't want to pay a human being. And this whole notion that, oh, well, these are jobs that Americans wouldn't want to do. The idea was that it was paid really lowly or below minimum wage. It's a lie. $35 and up. All of it. Sure, we're, and we're not talking about fast food. Fast food, it has not been... There are whole, whole cities full of all white, all black, all whatever all Puerto Rican, it's wherever it's located. That's that's who's in those jobs. I've gone into what I thought was a white-owned store and it was filled to the brim with black people. What is this? It's, that's the only people who apply. We still have to hire them by law, right? Uh, anyway, $80 billion a year. What do you think that the American taxpayer is paying $80 billion for? Uh, guys, I'm still, I still don't have a computer. I'm still trying to raise money for that. Uh, PayPal.me slash Shikama. PayPal.me slash Shikama. Please donate. You know, if, if you can donate 100, that's fantastic. That'll save me a lot of time. Um, uh, even, to, even to try and recover because I had my life on that computer and I just, and then all these other computers that I'm trying to uh, revive, they don't work either. So there you have it. Uh, I'm just really at your mercy. Make sure you like the video. Leave tons of comments. Get into arguments. Get into to love fest. G give me a hug online. <laughs> I'm uh, quite depressed and I'm not trying to be over dramatic. I'm you can see my personality is always to try and come across as nice and gentle and caring and good. But uh, deep down inside, this, this has really taken a toll. Thank you all for watching. Bye.